All right, hello guys. Today, I have brought home the rebuilt C6. Here it is in all its glory. This linkage, don't worry about it. We'll fix it later. But we're getting this unloaded, and we're gonna get it put in the garage. Um, so I've got everything cleaned out. Just kind of set it aside right now. And uh, basically, we're gonna be putting it like right there. So the toolbox will just take out a little more. But right now, we're about to take this. This is a new thing I got. It's a hacksaw. I like it pretty good. We're going to take it out of the woods, and we're going to clear it around that truck so that we can actually start doing something to it. Fellas. This is my video. Is it? Okay. <laughs> so today we got some big things accomplished that I'm super happy about. We got the truck turned around. Now, this is more important than you realize because now we can actually get the motor out of it. And um, we can raise our hood that's disconnected why, here. Why don't, why don't you just raise it in the right, correct way? You just raise it from over here. No. Um, pick up on it right here. I'm going to push down. Okay. Cool. So. We got our radiator out. Surprisingly, it was still holding coolant. Kind of surprised about that, but we got our wiring completely undone under here. And we were trying to get it through the firewall. Turns out it's just a solid wire under there, so we're gonna have to deal with that a little bit later. 
You didn't have to force it down. I can just let it go. Yeah. You all good? You good? You good? Good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, inside, we got it cleaned out. And we laid some stuff in here so we can actually work in here now. There's a little dude flying around in there. Oh, there, Mr. Dude. Yeah. So, anyway, now we can actually start getting stuff in here undone. We're going to get our seat out, get our old carpet out, and um, start pulling a dash. And then we'll work on the wiring later. We may just have to leave the wiring harness in it and redo it inside the vehicle. That may just be what it comes down to. So, yeah. That is going to do it for this video, but getting this thing turned around was a pretty big accomplishment. We also got a lot of that augered down. Augered down, that doesn't sound like the right word. No, it's not. Arbored. Yes. Arbored down. Um, and then we have a grill that came out of the back seat that I found and other stuff. Also found two carburetors in the passenger side seat. <laughs> so <laughs> these, oh, which I put in this plant bucket, we're over in the passenger side seat. That and a four wheel drive floor shifter. And this thing doesn't have four wheel drive. So I don't know what those were it for. It used to be four wheel drive. Maybe it did, who knows. But anyways, so yeah. All right, so we got a lot accomplished today in my eyes anyway. We got this truck turned around, which took about an hour. Um, and I know that doesn't sound like a long time, but there was a lot of like, we had to move stuff and we were cutting limbs down over here to make room for this thing so that we can actually set it here. But now we can get the motor out of it, which is going to be a huge step in this process because then once the motor's out of it, we can do brake lines. We can start pulling fenders and stuff off. We're going to get this thing up on some jack stands, get the wheels out of, get the wheels off of it, start taking suspension components out, getting what we can rebuilt, um, and then taking body panels off, get the body panels off, get it down to the frame, start setting it on the frame. So there's a lot in the next couple weeks to do. Um, and, I, and it's not that it has to be done in the next couple weeks because it doesn't so Basically during the summer. I'm going to be building the engine So the engine will be done at the end of the at the end of the summer and hopefully ready to drop in Because uh, I'm going to try to get it tested out and broke in and all that stuff So that means that we need to have the, the body panels off so that whenever I go to the body class Which I'm starting we can get these body panels up there and get them started working on and get them finished up so that we can get them back on the truck. So, that is the current plan. It's, it's, a, it's still a good ways away, but at the same time, it's not. So, like I said, guys, I'm just taking this time to just kind of get level with you guys on, to know what we're doing. Um, so, yeah, the next time you probably see this truck, it probably, it will probably be pulling the engine out. I think that's going to be our next step because wiring like i said it's kind of connected on the inside and we can't do a whole lot there yet um either either we'll be pulling the net i don't know what'll happen there's two things that'll either happen in the next video it'll either be interior or the engine and transmission so yeah guys that's gonna do it thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're enjoying the series be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time bye